today is shaping up to be one of the better days. I'm at Estoril in Portugal with this, the second generation Porsche 911 GT3R hybrid. Compared to the version that my colleague Steve Sutcliffe drove last year, the car is lighter, much lighter. It's over 100 kilograms less weight in it. It's also gained a lot more power. It's now got 200 horsepower going through just the front wheels, courtesy of its hybrid system. So what I'm going to do now is get in, go and do 10 laps, and if I'm still capable of the power of the speech afterwards, I shall tell you what it was like. Well, it's, uh, it's 10 laps later and they've been um, fairly entertaining to say the least. It is, I mean, a standard GT3R is an amazing race car, as I just found out. This is a fantastic circuit, but, you know, we're really here to talk about the hybrid system. And when it first starts working, it feels very, uh, very alien. It's like this separate force has entered the car. But within a couple of laps, you've forgotten about it. And all you get then is you just get this huge power, and more than anything else, the traction of the car as it pulls out of the corner is something, it's certainly no 911 I've ever been there could possibly think about emulating. Uh, Porsche don't yet know what they're going to be doing with this car next year. They may race it, they may not, but what they do know they will be doing with it is using it as a test bed for all the components that they're going to put onto their Le Mans car for their return to France in 2014. So what you're looking at here is not just a great racing car with a lot of really fun, interesting technology on it, but actually one of the most important development tools Porsche are going to use for their return to Le Mans, which in my book makes that a pretty amazing thing. Thank <laughs> you.